Hi guys, welcome back. Well, I'm moving on to turning this uh, large number four moist taper drill down. This this section is going to form the stud that the uh, the Briley drill grinder pivots on. So uh, I've got my largest collet in, and it's. Uh, it's just big enough to accept that, so let's uh, tighten that down. See how that runs before I put the tail stock support on. I'm happy with that.
Right guys, well I've got the stud with the one inch width with thread on. That will now thread into the uh, swivel base plate. Um, I've made a start on the lower arm and uh, this is going to be the pivot point. So that, that will slide through there. That will slide into there. And then on top of that On top of that we've got the hole for the uh, the uh, top section to swing through so that will uh, there's a brass sleeve in this one um, the bottom plate doesn't move it's just a pivot point and it's the top section that swings left to right so there's a brass brass sleeve in that and that's a nice Nice tight fit into the inner. Yeah. So that is what this uh, this pin is what the top section swivels on. connected together it'll be that way around well they had mentioned previous videos that um, I couldn't figure out what's turns the head left and right by turning the crank handle um, but I watched the video online last night and um, the gentleman had taken his front cover off and um, there's a connecting lever a connecting lever that screws into this position and it's it's offset on this wheel so as you as you turn the as you turn the crank handle it acts as a piston and pushes it left and right and there's a lever that comes down that this is screwed into. That's the reason for that. Uh, that's the reason for the hole in this cover. There's a a, a a stud that comes through there that this connecting arm is bolted onto. So because this doesn't move, because that's on a cam, that is what actually swivels it left and right. So I've learnt a bit more about it. Right guys, those um, those cans arrived this morning, and I couldn't believe it. when I opened the box. I couldn't believe it. I'll just I'll grab them and I'll show you. Expecting, but um, the lady I spoke to it was, it was a message on eBay. She didn't tell me how many there was, but um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Come to town again with dropping them up.
Well, there's seven there, guys. As I mentioned on a previous video, um, these are still available from Chester Machine, I believe, who took Brayley over. But they're, they're 90 quid a piece, and the poster red's probably four or five years old, so could be more now. And there's seven there at 90 quid a piece. And uh, she just uh, put them in the post, I didn't have to pay for them, and they've got. Uh, They've got numbers on. Is that number eight? Lots of four. Three. Another four. A two. A six. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that's something I've learnt guys. I'm glad I got these now. If you look at them, they're dished. I was under the impression it would be a, a straight chamfer on them. Um, but I suppose with it, uh, with it grinding on 180 degrees either side, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, they're not a straight chamfer on them, guys. They're quite complicated. So there's a there's a bit of work. Maybe that's why they justify the the ninety pounds. But yeah, they're not just a flat chamfer. They're quite a complicated uh, piece of uh, milling on those. Hmm. So that's a real bonus. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm getting a bit closer now. I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.